Hello, it's me. I'm back for more battles, but in this online competition with my horribly terrible whole team. It looked good in my head, but brought it into action and it bled. And suddenly, it all falls apart. Suddenly, I feel like a total tart. Now let me choose my team, because that's the only thing I've learned. Shut up while you're choosing your team. Let's not go skinny. Definitely bring my Umbreon for Miss Monkey Brain. But I gotta swap it out if that Finny hits the field. Mm. I don't know, might actually be able to do work in this fight. Because it feels like a weakest link so many times. Mmm. Do I want to bring Flareon for the scissor or my other crystal wall sinks? Yeah, you know I gotta bring Flareon because I don't got I don't really got anything better for that scissor. And if I can only think of the Flareon think of if I can't think of any good counters for it, he's probably thinking that he should bring it because I have few counters for it. Did that thinking make any sense? Anyways, we're going up against Pokemon Trainer Junart. Junart sent out Monkey Man and Aqua Spider. So I think. Oh, that's right, that's right. Bug Water type. Right. I always say I have a good matchup, and then I remember that. I think if I Volt Switch right away, though, it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, do I want to go for Taunt to avoid. Have this thing avoid instructing everything? You know what? I might live to regret this, but that's better than dying to regret it. <laughs> okay, good. I completely forgot it was normal psychic type. For some reason, I thought it was pure psychic, so these flashing attacks actually help. Okay, I guess the Volt Switch was about as obvious as <laughs> I thought it was. But at least I'm going to Volt Switch and get out of here so I can get to a better matchup right away. Mm, do I go for Katana though, or do I go for Flareon? Whatever I said now is probably gonna take whatever this mo Yeah, I gotta go for Katana because otherwise Flareon's probably gonna be taking a Psychic from that Oregano or something. Especially after this taunt. That's a shame. I thought it was gonna be the Instruct Spammy. But what is it with all these Pokemon with I gotta Google what that item is, because that's the second time I've had my taunt null and void by a held item. Another Trick Room team. <laughs> so that means Umbreon is good, except for the fact that Payback is my only attacking move. Now, I'm tempted to just stay in and see if I can get a Smart Strike off, though. Um, should I go for Taunt again? I think I should actually wait a little bit longer. I want to toxic something, but at the same time, fine. You know what? Let's toxic to the comfy. Especially if it does that. Man, my opponent's just getting all swap happy. It's a good thing I did that, because otherwise my moves would have been wasted. So I'm going to get a toxic off on something. That's always a good thing. Assurance to have, especially considering that one fight I lost because of a toxic. Unfortunately, I don't think Smart. So yeah, that's gonna be resisted, and that did a good chunk of damage for being resisted, though. All right. Oh, well, yeah, I can go for Xerus or on the Oregano. Question is, though, do I want a Payback or Toxic? I don't, considering this setup, 
I think I'm just gonna go for the damage. Here comes liquidation, boys. I'm really glad I did that. Oh, I'm glad I did had that assault vest. Not that it matters because instruct is this thing. I should have gone for taunt. I was thinking the way things set up started. It didn't have it on his move set, but no, why would you run this Pokemon if you don't have that move? Okay, at least I know that payback will two hit KO. I'm just afraid. Yeah, I'm definitely not outspeeding now that the trick room's going on. Yeah. I, he doesn't know I have Protect yet. So I can at least get the Oregano out of the picture by going for a Protect. And just go for another payback, because he might want to just focus the attacks on getting rid of the Flareon. Which is what I'm counting on. Yes. Is Oregano going to do it too? Oh my god. Bless you, Oregano. Unfortunately, unless I want to risk a double protect, I unfortunately I'm pretty sure no matter the situation, my Flareon is going to be out of the picture now. But that was a very good play. I'm very happy with that play. I'm not going to say it was a good play. Because considering what I had, it was, might have been obvious to most players. But I am still happy with that play. And you can't take that away from me. Okay, so that's your last Pokemon. What do I have still? I might have lost my one counter to it. But... What's your type again? What's your type again? I have the ability to check this, don't I? Rock Poison, yeah, so I can't Toxic you. Um, I gotta go for the Double Protect. There's not really anything else my Flareon can... No, unless I outspeed. With this Trick Room, I don't think I'm gonna outspeed. So yeah, I gotta go for Double Protect. And... I'm just gonna go for a payback to assure that this awkward and goes down this turn. Of course it doesn't work. People all the time, when you're fighting against them, they get the double protect. But when you go for it yourself, you don't. Of course. But hey. You know that toxic... Ugh. That would have been nice, because uh, I should have swapped, because I could have sent my Flareon in to those Toxic Spice. It wouldn't be Toxic, it would only be Poison, and I'd be able to get a Gust Boost. Uh, that would have been so nice, but... Uh, I don't come across these Pokemon too often, so I don't, I'm not too familiar with what they do. Did you know that this online competition is technically my first set of Wi-Fi battles for the video series? So I'm still kind of new to this, I guess you could say. Oh yeah, I could Psychic that. I wish I had Protect on the Umbreon because that Comfy is definitely going to be going for something, anything. Actually, how supportive is Comfy? <sighs> Good. Taunt or Toxic? Taunt. I'm running out of time. Taunting it! <sighs> yeah, it pro I probably should have gone for the Toxic. Mm -hmm. Props to Umbreon for being a boss and just tanking that hit, though. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of you, and I believe I. Oh, you are much more bulky than I thought. Oh god, oh god. Yeah, I definitely should have gone for the toxic. Not again. Oh, that's just leftovers. <laughs> this is a battle's 
by competition, they can't have the same item twice. Alright, do we want it? Ugh. Oh shoot, what am I doing? I should have gone for this in the first place. Oh yeah, because I'm thinking it's yeah, but you go and go Something tells me I might actually be able to go 1v1 if they come. No, no, don't be an idiot. You got to go for the comfy. Alright, I'm just. I'm just gonna play a save in Moonlight. Oh, shoot. I'm not even gonna get a chance to do my Z move. So dumb, I had it in the back the whole time, I completely forgot about it. If I went for that instead of the Psychic, I might have actually had a chance with this fight. There's no... Ugh. I mean, they aren't... they don't seem to be doing too much. But I kinda doubt I can 1v... 2v1... These Pokemon... With an Umbreon. You know what, I'm gonna try though. Cause I... Toxic to Comfy, and it's gonna go down eventually. Then I'll go... I mean, Sludge Bomb is pretty devastating, but... If only I went for the Taunt... Or if only I went for the Toxic instead of the Taunt... We would be in a lot different of a situation right now. I didn't think this was this hard of a tournament. Green kiss. Yeah, it's gonna be rough. At least I got the Rocky Helmet on my side. Power Jump? Pretty sure... I guess that does a, uh, about the same much amount as the Sludge Bomb. Oh, that really hurt. That alone might have killed any confidence I had left in being able to pull this off. Oh, that hurts. Uh, yeah, and I'm definitely going to be in KL range. I should have gone for the Moonlight, but I don't think it matters anymore, because even if I Moonlight it, I would just be in range for them to do that again, and I would not have enough PP to be able to withstand that. Ugh. Once again, I've been foiled by myself. Actually, what's my health? For some reason, I thought it wasn't as much as thinking it was. Well, yeah, I'm definitely in KO range. Let's just go for Moonlight for the heck of it, because... I mean, if something were to happen, that would be the only way I could not die this turn. Fabulous! I didn't even get to see what that comfy does. It's probably done, it would have probably done Draining Kiss, like it did all the other turns, though. I... This is gonna be the last video of the recording session. My gut's telling me I need to stop. My throat is starting to get tired from commentating all these battles at once. I don't think I've done this much commentation in a row in a long, long, long time. To send it off accordingly. I mean, I. Not even a full team. Uh, am I really only going to win battles of people that aren't. didn't do the same amount, the amount of preparation that I have? Mm. Oh 
well, let's do it. Because once it's for sure, I will. If I lose this, I will be amazed. Let's just say that. I think that's the least offensive way to say it. Oh wait, that Sea King probably has Lightning Rod. Why else would you have a Sea King in competitive battling? I mean, thankfully I don't not lean off of those Pokemon. But I also ugh, don't really have anything good for it. Leaf Blade, let's just do that and get it out of the way. Ugh. Do we want to swap out Vigabolt? I mean, let's do it. There's no... Actually, the Sea King might attack me with a water move. Both my Pokemon resistant to it. Or I could just swap out completely. And go into the Gudra. And... yeah. Ugh. Wow. Even with Assault Vest, you cannot live for s no, I hey, I guess at least I can get my, my Elick right back out here. I got semi-good confidence that I can just flirt but that big I don't really got, yeah, this is gonna be my only chance to use a C move, so I'm just gonna get it out right here, right now. I will not be unpleased if I manage to KO that glue trouble with a Z move. And just flare, blitz the Vickable. Let's not oversink this now. Too many losses have been caused from oversinking. Okay, good. Not swapping out the Gudra. So I'm not happy about my Flareon taking the amount of damage it's gonna take. But I'm glad I'm gonna be able to get this this is actually fairly... I will take this. I'm not going to say this is the best case scenario, but this doesn't really... I mean, besides not getting a little bit of leftovers recovery at the end of the turn, that doesn't really hurt me. Let's watch it. Sub-Zero Slammer! Fire in my Ice Legor! Oh, boy. Gukla is a really bulky mobile. But hey, this just assures me that I can take it out next turn with a nice beam. So, still, not too bad considering what I could be dealing with. Ugh, is Moonlight really my best option? No, I'm gonna go. I might regret this. But I'm gonna go for. Uh, who's slower? Let's just go for payback on the. This should take it out. Ugh. You are kidding me. I actually should have gone for the payback on the Gudra double up just in case. I didn't think I would actually not take it out though. Now if this Seeking does... Yeah, that's the damage I was expecting. And thank goodness it didn't do more than it. I don't know if that crit matter. It... Hopefully shouldn't have mattered though. Okay. So. We are down to Flareon and Umbreon. I forget if she had two Pokemon or one Pokemon left. Or three or two. Alright. I'm just going to play a safe. And I kind of want to get the Gudra out of the picture. Quicker. Hopefully I don't regret this. Oh yeah, it has Zap Zipper. I know because it took out my Katina like that. Alright, so. Goodbye, Gudra. No unnecessarily amounts of health loss. Oh wow, Vickavolt is really slow. Alright, oh, she didn't have a full team, it probably wasn't easy, that's why I outsped it. 
but it does that much damage in the same breath. But I'm out speeding the Vicar Bolt, so I can just keep moonlighting, depending on her last Pokemon. Right, there's that. I mean, I didn't go for Protect last turn, so I could go for it this turn. If needed. Ugh, but I am not liking the idea of being forced up against a Mustale. Mm. I got it. Bug Buzz did way too much. I need to get as much health as I can before going all out and seeing if I can listen to another hit. I just need a little more time to scout out the best case scenario. I'm losing more health than I'm gaining. I mean, I'm slowly whittling away with the life orb, but especially if Umbreon can't take this hit, I don't think that's going to be enough. Ugh. Yeah, it's over. I could go for a Flare Blitz, but that that's just going to result in me taking more damage from the Earthquake. So, if I'm if I remember my Pokemon right, it it actually does less damage when there's more Pokemon on the field because it's split between all the Pokemon. I mean, I, uh, I protected last turn. I have to go for a Flare Blitz. Maybe I'd be in a slightly better scenario if I went for the Flare Blitz before, but I'm, not, I'm with that Earthquake. I'm not too confident that would be the case. And hey, I'm gonna take less recoil damage because I wore away that life orb a little. And if it wasn't just a 1v1 versus a monster, I could will with spit and then take care of it, but uh, it doesn't matter. Out like a light from an earthquake. So, note. I lost. To a trainer that didn't even have a full team of six when there's no strategy that I can think of competitive life to go for a non full team. Ugh. This team does not have the chemistry it needs to. And I'm stuck with it all tomorrow when I'm gonna have another recording session to try and get all the battle spot videos done. Joy. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are getting some sort of entertainment out of this, though. So, until the next set, take care.